Hey guys, so we're heading out to go and do some errands. Tomorrow's my birthday. So, it should be really fun. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to get the airport. And, uh, let's get Hey guys, going. so, just got some new lures. I'm very, I'm very excited about this. Okay, so first lure I got was this uh, little uh, craw type bait. It was like, uh, I don't know, like three, four dollars for three of them, which is very expensive, but I thought it was kind of cool. This would be very good for fishing at the river because there's a lot of small ways that eat these, like the, like, like the eating craws. So these should be very good. Uh, yeah. Uh, these, the, the hook, there's already a hook. Little, like, little, well, there's a little uh, opening at the back of them right here. Right here. Wait, wait. Right about there. Near uh, these. Uh, out right there and then you just thread the uh, hook through uh it looks originally like this i'll show you it mm, it is it is it looks originally like this and then you have right at the end of it you have this little hole right there not right focusing right now but it does a little hole right there and you just thread the hook through uh put this hook through the end of it and it'll come out like 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 this. I'm gonna put these all back into their little container. And then I also got oh, a bunch of lures. Looking forward to using them tonight. To, oh, and FYI, tomorrow my birthday. Okay. So next one. Uh, this is a little grasshopper type of a uh, crank, but it also floats. So I can also just leave on top bar and it still twitch, 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 twitch. And you know, still has cobble gobbles up because I've noticed a lot of. Uh, uh, grasshoppers will have in there and they'll hop in the water sometimes and they'll be eaten. And this is really good. It has a very large lip, but I think I'll still be, I'll still be okay. Okay. On to the next lure. I have a couple more in here. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got this. Oh, this is something really in weird. I haven't seen this before. This is a very small frog. I don't see that. But it's a very small frog. Uh, it has that hook right there. You had to go through the nose of it right there. And then you had to hook it through. But home they catch my first ever frog fish. First ever frog rock bass. Um, then also about this. I got a little a mini king spinnerbait from Strike King. I've always wanted to buy one of these and just never had a chance to. And this is what it is. This is basically what it is. And I got it in like a chartreuse and a blue or like a turquoise or a teal color. Which means should be really good. Especially if then this is gonna be in like brackish dirty water so the brighter should hopefully attract them. And I'm gonna go back to the house and like organize my bait, bait so they're like all in one little thing. So I'm gonna put these in. Also, as well as my uh, float, my uh, top waters, and the rest of my cranks, my small cranks. And that's basically all I'm gonna use, just these. And then I'm gonna put the whatever rest of in my little tag box into another little, little one. So they're all right there. Okay, on to the next bait. Okay, this one. It's another little striking. It's a Fitzy Minnow. The great thing about this little uh, crank is it it rattles. It's really good because I had a lot of luck with things that rattle. And it's a very bright color. So it's a chartreuse with like a uh, orangeish kind of like meringue type thing like that. So it's going to be very good. It has a very small lip, and it's just and it's, it's eyes reflective. But yeah, it should be a very good bait. Put that back. It's back. The little thing. We find the first. Yeah, there is. And then I got this. I knew these are gonna be good for um, fishing right now. These are marabou jigs. Marabou jigs are also always good because, unlike plastics, these are put, just put on there perfectly. So no matter how many times that fish bites it, this remains perfect. And so the feathers are gonna be very good. And uh, this is like one thirty-two one one thirty-two ounce. Uh, Jake head on it with a very small hook and these are it's gonna be great for those uh little uh uh rock bass stuff It'll be very good this came in a nine these came in a nine packer here so these should be all should be very good and i'm very happy that i got these so you know i'm also going to go back uh take out all the jigs i'm not going to use put them in i have two little small tackle boxes that you take with me a lot 
and I'm gonna take only one tonight. I'm gonna take all these, plus my top waters and my other cranks. And then those are all I'm gonna take. But then after I come back, I'll put in all the other ones I have. I also have a list of stuff I need to get. But these should be good. But the top ones I really wanna do is I wanna catch something on this. I'm really looking for top water and cranks. But I, I just bought uh, Marabou's just because I know these guys are so bite on small profile type things. I'm also looking forward to using this on some of the rapid and some of the fast moving water and some of the other calm moving water. Should be very good. I'm looking forward to using this as well. But uh, yeah, until then, I will see you later. And please like, share, and subscribe, and make sure you go outside and have some fun. Till next time, peace out. Okay, right, hey guys. So I'm about to review or go over my. Uh, time today uh, I really hate that I wasn't filming today but I to. you know I tried and I tried and I tried to uh, get uh, this on film but I couldn't today because my phone said but I have some pictures I'm gonna show you man first I'll tell you what, what I used today Okay, so the first lure I'm going to show you real quick was this. Okay, this was my top water lure that I chose today. It was a grasshopper lure. What it is, I hope, but like this. And I'm going to just twist it along. And it was just popping into this. a crank. But I used it as a top water. And I just twist it, twist, twist it. And they just boil over it. That's caught them all. I feel quite a good amount of fish on that. And then, I'll go on the other side. Now, let me show you what else I got. So another one that's gonna pop out right at me at over first is this one. So I caught my first rare fish on this jig today. It's a little uh, uh, pale tail grub. It's orange, a chartreuse, an orange flex. Very good. And I also caught things on this. This is the awesome bait. It's a little craw. It's holding it by maybe it's holding by a tin. It's a very realistic bait, and you hook it through the uh, little tail here. And you just poke it through. Next bait. Uh, this is a little minnow jig. Minnow uh, uh, kind of a lure. It's looked really, really well for some bigger ones. But the one well, other thing I want to use today. This is a brand new one I just bought. And all these lures. Uh, no. So the so the grasshopper lure. Um, the craw what I showed you. And uh, uh, yeah, those two are all both new. But Plus the one that I'm going to show you. This one is also new. This is a strike team. Come on, get it, get off. There it is, I got to get off. Okay, come on, get off. Man, this is not like, okay, there you go. Strike king bit C minnow. Caught this. I, I, it had a little really, uh, tight wo tight wobble to it. And it's like this. And also if I just let it sink, if I just let it sink down, they'd hold and grab it. I got a couple rock glass on this. And then one of the best jigs I used today was this. This is a marabou jig. It was a very effective jig. Casey came over here. It was a marabou jig. The great thing about this because when it's in the water it comes out of water, it is it looks like this. But this is a very good jig because it's just like look at this and it goes like this. What's the war? The tail is like shimmery and everything else, and that worked really well. And I didn't have to constantly ever every uh, hook, every every missing fish. You it looks like this. It didn't look like this. You don't have to constantly go back put it back on like a plastic. But it just looks like this the whole time. So it's perfect. And I have still have all my baits left. Okay, now the next bait I'm going to show you. I have my favorite fish on. The small one about two about a one and a half pounds or two two pounds it was on a bait I've had for a long time, but it was not a uh, was not a new minnow. This is a ti green tiger jerk bait or green tiger jerk bait or like a little well green tiger jerk jerk I'll call that. And this is it has rattles in it as you can see here. It has rattles in it. And it was very good. I'm going to show you a pic of this. But this was a very, very good jig for me today. I only used it once. And I caught a fish. 
and I saw a lot of things. They also got pop this today, which is new. I think it's getting on this, but I know I probably catch one at a, uh, I'll see a point on this. This is a little Stray King, uh, Mini King. And then, you know, all these different things. Um, also, I have a bunch of other things I've used. This is a, uh, let me get on it, hit on it. Yeah, here we go, I'm hit on it. This is, I used to use trial magnets, and I tried, I didn't use these today, but I would have. Ooh, that was little jigs. But anyway, those are the jigs I used today. Um, they were very well for me today. I'm happy about it. And just from my birthday, it was awesome. Uh, yeah. I tried out a bunch of these today, but the one other top wire that they would bite on the other day was this little bugger right here. Let me get out real quick. There, I got out. Was this little plug. When I use it, it says like that little pattern, peel pattern on top and it's like a cream or lemon on top the bottom. I also tried this, is also one I bought today. It was a little frog. And uh, I didn't catch anything else, but I think I didn't catch one last day, but anyway, I also tried this, I bought these things too. So this is a uh, three inch Yamamoto watermelon and cream Senko on a uh, three odd uh, sink, uh, wide gap uh, pretty sure these are uh, VMC VMC hooks very sharp hook uh, these little like barbs on it as you can see right there the little barbs we're gonna get right about there on them and uh, they work really well so yeah that's what I used today um, and someone just went over yeah so those are also all good today and uh Please, if you like this, please like, share, subscribe. I'm going to be tough right now because I don't have anything to film with. But yeah, so like, share, and subscribe. And if you feel like it, wish me a happy birthday because tomorrow's my birthday. Uh, yeah, but until then, this is me signing out. Hey guys, here's some pictures. There's a rock bass caught on Maribu Jake. And here's that big old small moth caught on that uh, green tiger jerk bait. Anyway. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please like, leave a comment, and please give me a thumbs up. And uh, like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. And this is Jackman signing out.